All right, we got our break. First, we got a kick from the drop. You take away the fat tail of the kick. And you can do that by double clicking on the clip, go to the bottom where it says warp, go to the arrow underneath trans, set to a single arrow to the right, bring that value down to about 50, and that will get rid of the tail. And then low cut, high cut, open up the cutoff on the high cut filter as we go into the buildup. The base, we got one patch from splice.com. We're automating the two parameters here. We got distortion filter and filter filter. There's a little curve. For the sub, we're using the sub by Iceberg Audio. The last plugin you'll ever need for the sub. Next, we got this uh, bass block sound coming from this realistic bass guitar. And then this uh, cashmere bass patch that's also available on splice. At the end of the phrase, we have this little turnaround or melodic fill. And that wraps up the mix. Let's take a look at our drums. We're using action strikes from contact. We're using this first layer. And we have a stronger, bigger layer. And then the last layer in red, you can see how they're arranged. Things getting more complex. Keeping the interest of the listener. We also have some crashes, some cymbals, and some other hats from the drop and an impact from our builder. Let's see what we have so far. melody. First part of it is just this pluck note consisting of a serum patch from Splice and an excess patch. Kind of just keeps a groove going. Then we got this motif assist. It helps color the main melody. Patch is actually a synth master set to the default preset, but then we have a couple things on here. We have retro color for that old vinyl sound. We got corpus, and you can hit the little circle or Q on your keyboard for quick swap, and then we'll let you select the preset real quickly. A little drum bus. OTT and saturation, and lastly we got a little EQ, and the EQ is just doing a little high cut. The other layers pretty much doing the same thing, and it's dry. Now the main motif, the main melody, is a captures patch. We got a little bit of a low cut. Retro color. A high cut opening up as it progresses to create movement. Lastly, we have OTT and saturator. We have a couple layers to assist. We have this other layer, it's just a simple serum. The last layer is just for those highs, and it's called substance. Let's listen to the whole Maltese together. All right, now we got our turnarounds, which are kind of like melodic fills, and you put them at the end of your musical phrase. For the first one, we got these notes here going up and down. It's comprised of a Nexus instrument, another Nexus instrument, and then we go to our second melodic fill, and that is these patches right here. We got this one, and we got this one. Just so you don't drown out the sound with the reverb too much, I high cut, and here's the automation for it. 
moving along. Last thing we got is effects. We got the rattle sound that you're familiar with. We got a cymatic sample going into a couple other samples. Nothing really going on, only one semitone up to match our key of C sharp. And we pitch up this guy. And we pitch this plus one. And there you have it, that's the break. All right, so this is our original vocal from Splice. If I could slow down the clock, I would. When I'm with you, I just feel so good. This sample is in C minor and at 110 BPM. But the clock is at 105 BPM and is in C sharp minor. So we're gonna do a couple things here. First, we gotta put it on beat and time stretch it. But before we do that, what we're gonna do is assign our keyboard to the metronome for quick access. Hit command K, then go to your top left and click on the metronome and hit the key you want it to be assigned to. For example, number three. Okay, so now we can toggle, set the project tempo to match your sample, which is 110 in this case. If I could slow down the clock. Align your clip and make sure it's perfectly in time by checking with the metronome. Good. 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 If I could slow down the clock, I would. Now click warp and go back and adjust your tempo. Put it back to 105 BPM. Now that our tempo and timing is sorted, we can adjust the pitch. If I could slow down. The sample is in C and it needs to be in C sharp. Let's open up Melodyne. Select our clip and hit transfer. If I could slow down the clock, I would. When I'm with you, I just. Now grab all of this and move it one semitone up. Slow down the clock, I would. And now we're getting pretty close. Let's freeze and flatten this and drag onto a new track. If I could slow down the clock, I would. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is uh, fill in this empty section by duplicating the earlier part. Alright. And now this last part, we're going to pitch it down so it's different the second time around, and we're going to use Melodyne again. Same thing, open it up, hit transfer. Feels so good. And once it's in here, we want to change the notes like this. Feels so good. You are just feel so good. All right, we got our tail. If I could slow down the clock, I would. All right, on the chain, first we got a little CLA doing two to three dB of gain reduction. Then we have another compressor doing about one to two dB of gain reduction. If I could slow down the clock, I would. Next, we got a Dean Vox preset on Puke Tech. We have a de with a threshold set extremely low. When I'm with you, I just feel so good. If I could slow down the and then the main effect is coming from this plugin right here, Thermal by Output, with a modern byte preset. Then we have another layer with a copy of the same clip, and we're only playing it on top of these parts here. And on this track, we got a couple things going. We got a drastic EQ, and once again, we have Thermal with saturated spread preset, and another de-esser. And then the whole signal is being routed to a reverb and a delay. And the reverb is being sidechained by the dry signal. For more on that, check out Cashmere's secret reverb tips. Alright, the last thing we did is this reverse reverb, which we made from the harmony vocal. By taking a piece of this, creating a new track, throw that over here, consolidate, hit command J. Then hit R to reverse it. I have a rack for reverse reverb, so all I have to do is throw it in. But it's really simple. It's just a reverb and a compressor to make sure that the tail is nice and long. Freeze and flatten, 
get rid of this tip by dragging the original clip over. Shave that off. Now we just go here, delete that. Now we take this piece, reverse it, and then drag this back out. And this is what we have, right? And that's how we get that. And now on this track, we got thermal, manipulator for some steering wind, and then a drastic low cut. Everything together. And now you can just see how everything flows smoothly with the help of those reverb and delay tails. And that's it for the main section of the vocals. Let's take a look at our vocal bed. And it's just mostly samples sent to C sharp. Next, we got this Coyote group. Then we got these guys. Now we got this. And that's pretty much it. And this is our drop. And let's take a look at our layers here. We got our bass, a sub. In the drums, we have our snare. We got two different samples here for the snare. These have been frozen and flattened. We're collabing and we're in different cities, so freezing and flattening kind of happens all the time. Naturally, these projects are just going to be more consolidated. Oh, we got one. All right, that was cool. Now we take a look at our lead. It's very similar to the lead we had in the break, except we just added a couple little notes here. These guys right here. And then we have this other guy, and this is pretty much assisting the main lead. If I consolidate everything, you can see what it's doing. This one is a Nexus patch, big stab. And then this instrument is actually comprised of three instruments. An atmosphere and two serums. The atmosphere is set to the middle and it's EDM trumpet preset. We have a serum patch set a little bit to the left. Resonator. And we have a vocal vibes preset set to the right, together creating a nice stereo field. To add a little bit more to the stereo width, they're both getting processed slightly differently with these filters. And now the entire group is being also filtered a little bit. That's it for the lead, but we also have this vibe group. In the group we have a contact instrument called Altus. These are the notes. On this we have sidechain, bandpass, and saturation. And we open the eyes up towards the end of the phrase. Then we have this piano playing the same notes as the vocal melody. And we also cut the highs and then we open them up like this. So together. Okay. But what about the effects? The effects are mostly already stumps because they've been going back and forth. And they're just side-chained, if anything. And that's it, folks. Let's begin.